everybody, this is Amy Hager and welcome to doing yoga with me today. So I am in Claremont, Florida and I love doing yoga out in nature. It's going to be a nice, beautiful, intermediate flow and uh, let's go ahead and begin. So you can close your eyes, begin to move into your breath, slowing the breath down. We'll start with our grounding. Inhale for a count of six. Hold it at the top. Exhale for a count of six. Hold it at the bottom. One more. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. And hold. We've got one more. Deep inhale. And exhale. So we can move into that ujjayi breath where we constrict the back of the throat. It is a warming breath. It helps to heat up the body. Come into the present moment. Just let the day go. Whatever is on the mind, just let it drip away. Moving into the breath. So we have to remember the whole purpose of yoga is chicha vritti nirodaha, which is cease the fluctuations of the mind. We do that through the breath. And this is a vinyasa practice. So through vinyasa, it's a moving meditation on the breath. As we're sitting here, think about lengthening the spine, sitting up tall rolling your shoulders down and back, aligning all seven chakras. Start to have some movement in the neck, so begin to find some cervical spine movement, taking your ear to your shoulder, drawing the chin to the chest and up and over to the other shoulder. If you want to go further, maybe go all the way back and around. Taking your time, finding all the edges with your neck. Sometimes we neglect our cervical spine. Let's take your hand, push it down towards the floor and flex your hand. Take your other one and put it on your head, feeling the stretch. So for you guys, this will be your left side of your neck that you'll be stretching. And you'll notice as you're pushing your hand towards the floor, it'll intensify it a little bit more. Let's come up and over to the other side, putting your hand under your head and then flexing the opposite hand. Breathe into the space that feels that sensation. And then begin to put your hands on your knees. Let's start to find some circles. So gently warming up the spine. We can move clockwise or counterclockwise. Take your pick. It doesn't really matter if you're following me exactly. Just move in one direction, and then we'll go ahead and change directions. So when you're coming back, really feel free to round the spine, and then puff it out, puff out your chest towards the front, moving on the breath once again. Um, we'll stop in the center. Deep inhale, bring your arms out and up overhead. Maybe you gaze up just for a moment. Exhale, come on down. Once again, deep inhale. And exhale down. Let's do that one more time. Deep inhale. This time come into a twist. So take your right hand on your left knee. Look over your shoulder. Deep inhale. Sit up tall. Exhale. Twist. Look behind you. Inhale. Lift our arms up tall towards the sky. Exhale, twist opposite direction. You're using your back hand like a kickstand to lengthen the spine up tall. Deep inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Look over the back shoulder. Now we'll come back towards the center. Let's move forward into our tabletop position. So we're on all fours. Your shoulders directly underneath your wrists and knees underneath your hips. So go ahead. We can start to explore your cats and your cows. Feel free to get creative here. So you can shift back and forth. You can undulate the spine. 
You can drop your hips to one side, hands to the other side. And then we'll come back into the center and we'll find something more collective. Deep inhale, cow face, spill your pelvis forward and down, lift your heart up towards the, seat, the sky. Exhale, cat posture, rounding the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, cow face. Exhale, cat posture. Once more, inhale, cow face. And then look over your left and your right shoulders. Keep your hips stationary, so your hips stay still. We're stretching out our quadratus lumborum. Inhale to the center, exhale, look over your opposite shoulder. And then back towards the center. Inhale, lift your arm up towards the ceiling. Let's say it's your left arm if you're looking at me. Thread the needle, it won't matter. We'll hit both sides up. And then you can go ahead and stretch the opposite arm towards the front of the room. We have the option of pushing the floor away from you, gripping your fingers into the floor and then pushing the floor away from you. Or you have the option of wrapping your arm behind the back body finding the, um, your hip crease, and then take your other hand, flip it down towards the floor. If you wanna go further, you can start to lean forward onto your knee and then lengthen your leg long, lifting the heel up off the floor, curling those toes under. If you wanna go a little further, you can lift the back leg up off the mat. If you wanna go a little bit further, even still, you can lift your right leg off the mat. See if you can find some stability in this position, breathe through it. And then slowly come on down Ooh, with control. Let your left hand down onto the mat. Inhale, lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, float it down towards the floor. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and use my rights and lefts and you could do the opposite if you'd like. Inhale, lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread it through. Stretching your throat, shoulder. You can take your right hand, push it into the floor, pushing the floor away from you, intensifying the stretch a little more. And then if you want to, you can go ahead, wrap your arm behind the back body, find your hip crease. And if you want to go further, flip your left hand down on the floor. You can lengthen your right leg long. Maybe you stop here, find your stopping point. You could stop at any one of these levels. If you want to go ahead and lift that right leg up, pointing the toe, feel free to go ahead and do so. And then you always have the option of lifting that left foot up towards the ceiling. Hold it here for three, two, and one. <laughs> Try not to fall in the lake now, right? Uh, slowly come on down, plant your right hand down onto the floor. Inhale, lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, plant your hand down towards the floor. Let's go ahead, move into your first downward facing dog. So curl those toes under and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Pedal your feet out. So five breaths in this downward facing dog. So you know you're in a proper downward facing dog when you could shift into a plank position and you don't move your hands or your feet and you exhale into that downward facing dog. You're creating the number 11 with your hands and your feet so that your hands should be about shoulder distance apart and your feet should be about shoulder distance apart. And you should be able to fit your head in between the space between your feet. Let's go ahead, come up high on the tippy toes, inhale. Exhale, drop the heels down towards the floor. Once again, inhale, come up high on the toes. Exhale, come on down. And let's see if you could go really high on the tippy toes. Deep inhale, come up high. Exhale, toes down towards the floor. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the knee, peel the hip open. If you'd like, you could do some ankle circles or you can add some hip circles. Just gently warming up the hip in this position. You always have the option in my classes to go ahead and flip the dog, finding your wild thing, lifting your hips up towards the ceiling. When you're ready, go ahead, flip down, drop your right hand, inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky, and drop it down towards the floor. Inhale, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Bend the knee, peel the hip open. Start to add some ankle circles, or you could add in your knee circles. You have the option of staying here with the open hip, or if you want to go further, you could go ahead, bend the knee, flip over into your wild thing, or your rock star, lifting your hips up towards the sky. When you're ready, slowly roll back, planting your left hand down onto the floor, left leg up towards the sky, and then plant your leg down. Inhale, come up high on your toes, bend the knees, look between your hands, and walk or jump to your feet. Your feet are about hip distance apart, 
You're finding yourself in a nice forward fold. Let your head hang heavy down towards the floor in your forward fold. Now shift the weight forwards into your toes so that your hips are directly over your knees and your knees are over your ankles. Let's take a deep inhale, half lift, flat back. So here you have a neutral spine. So you're not really cocking your head up, but it's more of a cow face in your spine, tipping that tailbone back, finding a nice flat back. You can put your hands on your shins, or if you have really long arms, you could also put them down onto the floor. Exhale, fold down towards the ground. Inhale, root to rise. Bring your arms all the way out and up overhead. You could gaze up towards the ceiling. Let's interlace all 10 fingers. Releasing your index finger, coming into an arrow mudra, push your hips forward, lift your heart up and back. Exhale, hinge at the hips, swan dive all the way down towards the floor. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, step your back into your plank position. Exhale, chaturanga, coming down halfway. Hug your biceps into the side ribs. And you should have your elbows directly over your wrists. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, lift, upward facing dog. So in this upward facing dog, we just have the tops of our feet and our hands down on the floor, lifting your thighs up off of the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up towards the suck eye. Go ahead, uncurl your toes. Oh, that was so nice. Let's do another one. Inhale, come up high on your toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, walk to the top of the mat. Oh. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, bring the arms all the way out and up overhead, gaze up at the sky. Exhale, bring your hands into heart center. So from here, let's work on our standing position. Let's press the mound of your foot down into the floor, lifting through the arches. So you're actually shortening your foot and you lift your toes up and grip the floor with your feet, using your feet, your toes, kind of like fingers. And then find the inward spiral with your legs. Imagine you're kind of squeezing a, a block or something in between your legs, lifting up. And then find a neutral pelvis. So sometimes I am a little bit of an anterior tilter. So find, and then if you're a big back bender, you want to find that neutral position so that pelvis is neutral and you're lifting up through the sternum, melting the shoulders down and back and lift through the crown of the head up towards the sky. Tip it, take a deep inhale, bring your arms out and up overhead. Exhale, swan dive down towards the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Take your feet mat distance apart. Drop down into a malasana squat. Have your hands at heart center. Lift your neck up towards the ceiling. So try to find a nice long spine like a giraffe up towards the sky. Use your elbows to push in front of your knees to kind of help open the hips, open your knees up a little bit further. Moving into a crow pose, so it's an optional. You could stay in that malasana squat or you could plant your hands down onto the floor. Bring your thighs to the outsides of your triceps. Come up high on the tippy toes and then squeeze your thighs into the triceps. Maybe you start to lean forward, lifting your feet up off the mat. Now find that cat spine and then hug your heels into your glutes. See if you can hold it here for three, two, one. You can step back to Chaturanga or if you want, you could go ahead, float your feet back gently with control. Inhale, lift, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up towards the sky. So we want to widen through our collarbone. So instead of kind of pushing the floor away, we want to widen through that collarbone. It'll help to protect your joints. Let's come up high on the toes. Once again, bend the knees. Look between the hands. Step between the hands. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. Moving into sun salutation B. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, chair pose. Again, lift your heart. Lift your arms up. So lifting through the chest and then look down. Make sure that your knees are behind your toes, driving your booty back. So we want a nice long spine here. And as I say lift through the chest, the knees are not dumping forward like this, but rather lifting it up, melting into the quadriceps. Let's take this a little bit further. Take your right hand back, left hand forward. Open your thumb up towards the, towards the front of the room. And if you want, go ahead, come up high on your tippy toes. It's optional, just add in a little bit more of a challenge. 
you decide how much you want to do. And look over that back hand, getting the twist in the neck as well. Inhale, lift back into the center. Ah, this is challenging. And then take that left hand back. Woo, and if you fall, just come back in, no big deal. It's part of the fun. And then open that hand up towards the back of the room. Try to stay high in the heels. I think I'm <laughs> just looking at the water and it's moving, so it makes me want to move. <laughs> Inhale back into the center. Exhale, fold down towards the floor. Woo. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Step it back into your plank position. Hug the belly in, engage your quadriceps, engage your hamstrings. Exhale, chaturanga, come down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, bhujangasana. Ah, lift your collarbone up towards the ceiling. Exhale, downward facing dog, hug your belly in. Inhale, lift right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, T to pose. Around your spine, bring your thigh into your chest and bring your heel into your glute. Inhale, lift, draw your leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, T to pose. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose, T to pose. Look between your hands, step your foot between your hands and drop your left heel down to the floor to a 30 degree angle. Inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky. So we have a closed hip position. You're pulling your right hip back, left hip more forward, squaring off your hips to the camera or to your TV. Lift your arms up towards the ceiling and then take that back left foot. Ground down through the outside edge of that foot. So you're lifting through the arches. Bring your arms up towards the sky and melt your shoulders down away from the ears. Ah, maybe you want to find a gentle back bend. So we have our palms touching, crossing just the thumbs. Inhale, lift up tall. And exhale, lift your arms up, over, and back. Finding a gentle back bend. Gently come back into the center. Reach your arms down and around behind you. Interlacing all 10 fingers. Lift through the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Bring your chest on the inside of the right thigh. Reach your arms up and over. Slowly release your hands down. Inhale, come all the way back up towards the sky. Exhale, drop your left hand down, right hand towards the, sun, the sky, coming into a revolved side angle. So you're gonna bring your left ribs close to the inner right thigh and bring your right arm up towards the sky. We'll look down at your, left, or your right foot. Come onto the blade of that left foot. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. Vashistashna. If you want to go further, see if you can gaze up towards the sky. Whew. <laughs> Slowly come back. Step your feet back into your plank position. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's work on the other side. This part of me was like kind of scared of falling into the lake here. <laughs> Inhale, lift that left leg up. Exhale, draw your knee into your nose, cheetah pose. Inhale, lift it up high. Exhale, draw your thigh into the chest, suck it in, cat spine. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bring your thigh into your chest. See if you can really get your knee to your nose and your heel to your glute. Inhale, lift that leg up. And then last one, look between the hands, step between the hands, drop your back right heel down onto the floor, coming into your warrior one position. Again, squaring off your hips, pulling that left hip back, right hip more forward, and then lift through the arches of your feet. It'll help protect your ankles and that back right foot. Inhale, bring your arms up towards the sky. Palms cross, her palms touching, crossing just the thumbs, finding that nice gentle back bend. Inhale, lift your heart up towards the sky and find that jet back bend, lifting your heart up, over, and back. And then bring your neck to a neutral position, release your arms down behind you and releasing your hands. Maybe you find the funny grip, you know, the one where the opposite thumb is in front this time. And then humble warrior, bringing your chest on the inside of the left thigh. Reach your arms all the way up and over. Move into your breath. Your 50-year goal will be to bring your forehead down to the floor. <laughs> That's what one of my teachers would say all the time. She was so cute. I loved her. And then when you're ready, slowly release your hands. Come back into that warrior one position. Reach your arms up towards the sky and then drop your right hand down to the floor. 
And then release that right heel off the ground, coming up onto your tippy toe, left arm up towards the sky. Bring your right ribs closer to the inner left thigh, finding the twist in this position. And then when you're ready, go ahead, look down. Maybe a piece fingers around that big yogi toe lock on that left foot. Come onto the blade of the right foot. Inhale, lift the left foot up towards the sky. Whew. So if you want to go further, see if you can bring your gaze up towards the sky as well. And when you're ready, slowly come back. Let's just find ourselves in a plank position. Exhale, chaturanga, coming down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Rolling over your toes. Ah, ah, take a breath here. Deep inhale. Exhale. Once again, inhale. Exhale. Let's move into our standing series. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your knee into your nose, cheetah pose. Inhale, lift it up tall. Exhale, right knee to your left armpit, revolve it. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, right knee to your right arm. See if you can bring your knee all the way onto the tricep. We're gonna move into the Ekapada Kundiyasana. You can take your left elbow, bend it, push it into your side ribs. Maybe you start to lean forward, lifting your back leg up off the ground, and maybe straighten that front leg out. Coming into an arm balance. And when you're ready, go ahead, step back into your downward facing dog, three-legged dog. And then exhale, bring your foot in between your hands. Cartwheel your arms open. Find yourself in a warrior two position. So you have more of a heel to heel alignment or heel to arch alignment. Melting down into that front quadricep, bringing your knee directly over your ankle. Stretch your arms in opposition and push the left hip down so that you even out your pelvis bowl. Lift your hand, right hand up towards the ceiling, reverse warrior. Reach your arms up, over, and back, fanning out the right side ribs. Imagine you're expanding that space in between your intercostals. Ah, oh, feeling that nice, beautiful stretch. Exhale, bring your elbow to your knee, side angle. Reach your left arm all the way up and over, palm face down. If you want an added challenge, maybe you want to go ahead and lift your right arm up to meet the left biceps frame the face. Take your right hand down towards the floor. Reach your left arm around. Maybe you find a bind. Reaching your right arm underneath. You can find your wrist or you can just hold your hands. If you do find your wrist, go ahead and roll the shoulder open. See if you could straighten that left arm out. The next step after this would be to go ahead and lift the chest up off the thigh. Slowly release. We'll move into Skandasana. Shift to the back of the mat. Press the right heel down into the floor. Come up high on your left tippy toes. And then bring your hands in the heart center. And that's Skandasana to the front of the mat. Driving the left heel down this time. Coming up high on the right tippy toes. If you need to have your hands on the floor when you shift, go ahead and do that. It's no big deal. Go ahead, shift to the back of the mat once again. And then turn to face the back of the mat. Coming into your side runner's lunge once again. So plant your right hand down. Inhale, lift that left arm up towards the ceiling. Ah, you could stay here. Or if you want, maybe roll onto the outer edge of that right foot. Step the left foot back and then lift your hips up towards the ceiling finding yourselves in a wild thing. Slowly roll forward, find yourself in a plank position. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga, come down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Getting ready to work on the other side. So we're just facing the back of your mat this time. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bring the knee to your nose, cheetah pose. Inhale, lengthen, left leg goes high. Exhale, left knee, right armpit, revolving it. Inhale, lift, left leg goes high. Let's see if you could do that optional arm balance. You don't have to do it. You could also just hug your thigh, your knee into that left tricep. If you wanna go further, you could go ahead, start to drop into the elbow if you want. Lean forward, float that right foot up off the mat. 
Maybe you lengthen that left leg long. Hug the belly in. And then go ahead, bring the left leg back up towards the sky. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, spin the right heel down onto the floor. Cartwheel your arms open, coming into your warrior two position. Once again, you're just facing the back of the mat. Flip your left hand up towards the sky and go ahead, drop your right hand down your leg and fan out the left side ribs. Maybe you look underneath that left bicep up towards the sky and just be thankful. Be like so thankful that we're alive, we're outside. Oh. Exhale, elbow to the knee. Reach your right arm up and over. So it's really good to find gratitude. Maybe you're in a place where it's cold right now. Maybe you have a plant in your room or some form of nature or even just a beautiful picture. Just find anything that you could be thankful for. Side ankle, maybe you lift your left arm up, biceps frame the face. And then see if you could go ahead, bring your left hand down into that side angle, reaching your right arm up towards the sky. Maybe you wrap your right arm behind the back body. And maybe you go ahead, reach your left arm underneath. Maybe you find your right wrist. Maybe you're able to straighten your arm and roll that right shoulder open. Just do that for a little added intensity. Slowly release your hands down. Move into Skandasana at the front of the mat. So go ahead, come up high on the right tippy toes. This could be intense. You might feel a stretch a lot on the left inner thigh. Bring your hands into heart center. <sighs> Breathe in and out through the nose. Go ahead, Skandasana to the front of the mat. So you're pushing your right heel down into the mat, coming up high on the left tippy toes. If you need to release your hands down onto the floor, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, see if you could go ahead and shift, balancing your hands into your heart center. And then when you're ready, go ahead, drop your left hand down. Inhale, lift the right arm up towards the ceiling, come up high on the left tippy toes. Ah, oh, doesn't it feel so good, you guys? <laughs> Roll onto the outside blade of that left foot. Step behind, I hope I don't step into the water. Go ahead, find the wild thing. Lift your hips up towards the sky. Ah. And when you're ready, slowly roll forward into your plank position. Deep inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your hips up towards the sky. Ah. Let's come up high on the tippy toes, bend the knees, look between the hands, and walk or jump to the top of the mat. This time bring your toes and heels to touch. Inhale, lift chair pose. So bring your arms up towards the sky. Palms touch, cross just the thumbs, and then bring your hands into heart center. Let's take your left elbow to the right knee. Look up over the right shoulder. Let's start to shift the weight into the right foot. So you can look down at your feet. Come up high on the left tippy toe. Inhale, lift the left heel up to the le left glute. Maybe you extend the left leg to the back of the room, to Landasana. If you're able to, go ahead, drop the foot down towards the floor. Ah, see if you can do that all with control. I know it's easier said than done, right? You have the option of flying your arms away if you want to release them in opposite directions. And then make sure your feet are parallel, like a railroad track. You're not on a tightrope. Since I'm out on this deck, it makes me feel a little bit more unbalanced than I normally am. You always have the option of doing a reverse bind in this position too as well. So if you do, see if you can go ahead, look up. Ah, find the, the ease and the pose as well. And then slowly come down. Hands frame the foot. Inhale, lift, crescent position. Bring your arms up towards the sky once again. Big smile, you guys. Exhale, revolve it. Left arm forward, right arm back. Look over the right thumb. See if you could come up high on the back tippy toe, bringing your heel directly over the ball of the foot. And then let's look down at your right foot and then slowly shift forward into revolved half moon. Bring your left hand down. Inhale, lift the right arm up towards the sky. So we're rolling that left hip down. Oh, right arm up. See if you can bring your leg parallel to the floor. And then we'll bring both hands down to the floor, standing splits. 
You can let your head hang heavy. Maybe you bring one hand behind the calf. Maybe the opposite hand meets it. You decide. Rolling the hip down. If you fall, just come back. No big deal. It's part of the practice. Slowly release your hands down. Soften that right knee. Step it back. Let's take a flow. Work on the other side. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. One more. Come up high in the toes. I know you guys are working hard. Bend your knees. Look between your hands. Walker jumps to the top of the mat. You guys are doing great. Inhale, lift. Toes and heels touch. Find your chair pose. Palms touch. Bring your hands in the heart center. And then we'll bring a twist. Bring your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Ah. So while we have our hands in this position, squeeze your hands together. Bring your prayer into the middle of the sternum. Come up high in the right tippy toes, moving into an ostrich position. So bring the right heel to the right glute. So find a spot on the floor. It will really help you with your balance. See if you can straighten the leg to Lindasana. If you can balance through this series, go for it. It's just the added challenge. And slowly drop your foot down to the ground, coming into a revolved crescent prayer twist. And again, make sure your feet are parallel. If you want, you can open up the hands, fly them away, bringing the right hand to the outside of the left heel. And if you want to go further still, you could always come into that reverse bind. Whew. My shirt's kind of in the way. And then go ahead and look up towards the sky. I'm going to get a chance. Take a breath. Release your hands down, frame the foot. We'll come on up into your crescent position. Arms up towards the sky. And we'll find that revolved position. Right arm forward, left arm back. Looking over the left thumb. Again, coming up high on the back, tippy toes. And then we'll gaze forward, moving into that revolved half moon position. So shift it forward. Right hand down, left hand up towards the ceiling, rolling that right hip down towards the ground. Again, hug the belly in. If you fall, just come back. And then moving into the standing splits position. So it's more of a closed hip position. Your leg might not go as high, and that's okay. Let your head drip heavy down towards the floor. Let's bring your left hand behind the calf. Maybe your right hand meets it. You're using your hands to bend the elbows, bringing your chest closer to the thigh. And then soften the left knee, step it back, find your plank position. Let's move into a flow before we go down into our back bends and our abs. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. Feels good. Inhale, come up high on the toes. Find yourself in that plank position. And you can drop into your knees, chin, and chest, or just come all the way down to the floor. Bring your left ear to the mat, look to the right. Moving into our Sarabhasana series. So bring your chin to the mat. Bring your hands palm face down, squeeze your legs together, take a deep inhale. Feel your chest up off the floor. Lift through the collarbone or through the sternum. Lift your sternum up towards the sky. So you're not necessarily cocking your head back as much, but you're lifting through that sternum. And then exhale, come on down. A deep inhale, and then peel your chest up off the mat and your legs simultaneously. Let's go ahead and lift your hands up off the mat. And let's take them out to the sides of the room. Keep on lifting up a little bit higher, and then let's reach them up towards the center. You can bring your feet apart, and let's go ahead and swim. So do your alternate arms and legs. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Let's go ahead, push back into your boat position. So cross your legs in front. Now sit back on your booty. Let's bring your hands behind, find a nice hammock boat. Bring your legs up parallel to the floor, lift through the chest. And I like to have my hands back here, so if you want, you can try to straighten your legs. Take your pick. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm a little bit tighter in my hamstrings. Let's come on down to a low boat position. So you can reach your hands forward towards your feet. 
Take your heels, crisscross your heels on the way up. Legs straight up the wall. Keep your shoulder blades up off the mat. Lower your legs one third. Lower them one more third. Lower them two inches off the floor. Crisscross on the way up. Let's do one more of those. Exhale, lower one third. Lower one more third. Two inches off the mat. And then crisscross on the way up. Bring your knees into your chest. Slowly rock yourselves up towards the top of the mat. Come all the way into your downward facing dog. Step back and then inhale, bring your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right wrist. Your front leg will be at like a 45 degree angle. Lift through your chest, find length in the spine and look over the left shoulder. Make sure your foot is directly behind your hips. And then when you're ready, slowly walk your hands down. And this one, you could just let gravity do all of the work. So melt your chest down towards the floor. Look over that right shoulder. Really melt into your hip, feeling the stretch. When you're ready, slowly come on up and they can do an optional quad stretch. Reach around, grab your foot. Maybe you take your fingers, roll them towards the front of the room. Lift through the chest and drive your heel in towards your glute. Take one more breath, deep inhale. Exhale, release. Slowly find yourselves in a downward facing dog. You could take an optional flow here or you could just step back into your downward facing dog. You decide. Inhale, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, find yourself in a pigeon on the other side. So bring your left knee to the outside of the right hand. Lift through the chest, find that nice tall spine. Exhale, come on down. Look over the left shoulder. So again, let gravity do all of the work. Yeah, that pigeon position. Have your nice hips squared off. Breathing into those spaces where you feel the sensation. Ah, and then when you're ready, slowly walk your hands up. And then you can reach around if you want. Lift that right foot up off the mat. You can stay here. Or if you want, you could kind of roll your hand onto the top of the foot and roll your fingers towards the front of the room, bringing your heel to your glute. So you want to use your left hand so you're sitting up tall. Ah, you'll feel a nice, beautiful stretch in your quadricep. Go ahead, release when you're done. And you can just take your right foot, swing it towards the front of the room, moving in a Janu Shirsasana, taking your left foot to the inner right thigh. Just bring both hands into a basket, lift up tall overhead, exhale, fold, bring your hands behind the ball of the foot, and then round down, bring your forehead to your knee. If you want to go further, bend your elbows, maybe your elbows touch the mat. Again, find the softness. And then slowly release on up, moving into a seated spinal twist. So bring your right foot uh, over the left knee. Make sure both sit bones are down on the floor. If, it, if uh, one is the right hip is popped up, then go ahead and lengthen that bottom leg. You guys decide. So if you're able to do the bend, go ahead. Bring your right hand behind the back body at the base of the spine. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, twist. Take your left elbow to the outside of the right knee and look over the right shoulder. So inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, twist. We'll come back to the center, moving into Janu Shirsasana on the other side. So lean back, straighten the left leg, bring the right foot to the inner left thigh. Again, find your nice little basket weave. Inhale, lift up tall. You're going to pivot to that left leg and then round down. Bring your hands underneath the ball of the foot. So bend your knee if you need to. If you're not quite as flexible, go ahead and do that. And then round your head down. It's just a rounded back body sensation as you bring your forehead to your knee. And again, if you want to go further, bring your elbows down to the floor. And you might notice that you're more flexible on one side more than the other. That's okay. It's normal. Like my left side is actually a lot tighter than my right side. So I just have to be a little bit more gentle on my left side. So find the breath. And slowly come on up, lean back, finding your seated spinal twist. Bring the left foot at the top of the right knee. 
and take your left hand at the base of the spine. Inhale, lift your right hand up, and then exhale, take your right elbow, push it into the left knee, and look over that left shoulder. So inhale, lift up tall, exhale, twist. And then we'll come back to the center. Bring your feet together, knees go wide apart. You can put your hands underneath your feet. Bring your hands to your feet. Go ahead and bend your, your elbow, bend over your feet, and then use your elbows to push your knees down a little bit more. I was going to do another variation, but we're going to skip that. And then when you're ready, go ahead, roll onto your backs, moving into your final stretching. Let's find our happy baby. So we bring our feet to the outside edges of the, your hands the outside edges of the feet, thighs the outsides of the ribs. Let's bring our feet together. When we're moving pose, your forearms will cross over the shins. Maybe you could touch your elbows. And then when you're ready, slowly bring your feet down towards the floor. Lift your hips up, swing them to the left side of the mat. And then you can bring your arms kind of out a little bit. They could be in the letter T if you want. I'm on the pier, so I won't be able to do it quite as much. And drop your knees to the right side of the room, moving into a supine twist. If you want more, you can always eagle the legs, bringing the left leg over the right. Maybe look over the left shoulder as well. Again, move into your breath with all of your stretches. Find the softness. That's how you're going to find the length in your body. And when you're ready, slowly come back to center. Let's see if we can windshield wiper the legs. You can lift your hips just a little bit to recenter the hips. Windshield wiper the legs to neutralize the spine. Plant your hips, or your feet down, lift your hips up, and then you could lift your knees up and drop them over to the left side this time. And again, if you want to go more, you could just take your left leg up and over the right. I got this mic pack in the way. Look over the right shoulder. And then whenever you're ready, slowly bring your knees back into the chest. Give yourselves a big hug. Move into your final savasana. So inhale, find the length in the spine. We're going to stay here just a short period of time. Moving into the breath, you can let your feet roll open. Find yourself in a five-point star, just starfish down on the floor. There's nothing to do but just be. This is the whole purpose and point of the practice. So find your breath. Just relax.